I don't think it's a big secret that Marvel Comics have not been doing well. I always like to point out the New Warriors. If you remember this story, this comic book never came out. And the funny thing about this comic is that it was mostly finished. They probably finished at least two or three out of the four or five or however many there were going to be. It's going to be a mini series. It never came out. They never finished it. They never released it. They just quietly slept, like swept it under a rug. Now, the funny story, the funny story is that everything is still up. You can still find this directly at the Marvel website. The video is still up on YouTube. Amazingly, uh, they just never released the material, but they never officially canceled it. So maybe one day, hopefully we can get a quiet release of this, which would be awesome. I would love to read this beautiful, beautiful trash fire. Uh, but this is just showing you the creativity of modern Marvel artists and writers. This is what they put out. They also put out stuff like this, which is very generic and stupid. This is, of course, the X-Men's sidekicks, Children of the Atom, which has actually came out. This actually released, like, I remember when the teaser for this came out. It came out a week or so, I think, after the New Warriors teaser. And this dropped. And it's really stupid. This is, oh, this is like sidekick versions. This is obviously Gambit. This is Cyclops. This is supposed to be Archangel. Here's Nightcrawler. And here's overweight Jean Grey. And this is supposedly the sidekick team or whatever. Of course, I believe both of these females are into the ladies, which is, you know, not a shocking thing for a Marvel comic. It seems that. That's just the way it is in the 616 now, and it's all good. Or, you know, they also spend a lot of their time eating in restaurants and talking about their feelings, which is just, I'm just not interested in that. I've almost dropped all of my Marvel comics. The only Marvel comics I'm still reading is Spider-Man. That's it. I read Amazing Spider-Man because the Nick Spencer run has actually been okay. But other than that, I'm not reading any Marvel comics anymore. I'm mostly just reading a lot of DC stuff. If you follow my other channel... I do review comics a little bit over there, and I read most of the Future State stuff, and some of it was actually pretty good, but that's a conversation for that channel. So look at this. Like This is some of the art from this. It's just very generic. They got Vita Vela, or whatever her name is, writing it, and she does, according to your boy Zach, a very mediocre job. Uh, he didn't go too hard on this book. I'm not going to read it. I'm not interested in reading this. Uh, I just, I'm so done with Marvel. I, I just, I'm done with Marvel comics. I'm just going to leave them alone and, and do my thing. Unless they put something beautiful out like New Warriors that's worth ripping into, I'm just done with them. But it would appear that some areas of the world aren't done with Marvel. Check this out. I thought this was really interesting. Deadpool manga is the world's most popular Marvel comic of 2021. This has been read by a million people, or at least it has a million views, whatever one you want to go with. Uh, Deadpool manga is the world's most popular Marvel comic of 2021. Deadpool Samurai, a Shonen Jump Plus series, has been read by more people than any other Marvel comic this year. Now, Marvel's been doing this for a while, and I don't know if this was a part of the original announcement or not, but I remember like a year ago they announced they were going to get actual Shonen Jump creators that are, you know, behind popular manga in that in that series and have them take Marvel characters and do something with them. So I don't know if this is a part of that initiative or not, but apparently this has been very, very popular. And it's kind of sad that for Marvel to have popular characters, you have to you have to export them over to Japan and have Japanese creators actually do a competent job. Because all of the ones that work for your American branch are mediocre. They have no creativity. They have to dance around issues. They have to make sure to make political statements, push certain agendas, please Twitter people. So if they want to make these characters actually get read and viewed and liked by people, they have to ship them off to Japan. Now, I haven't read this. Maybe I will check it out now. I was more shocked and surprised by the number. So check this out. A Deadpool Samurai, a manga series, 
by some Japanese names I'm not going to try to brutalize. It's officially the most read Marvel comic of 2021 so far. The first two chapters of Deadpool Samurai have surpassed 1 million views each. Chapter 7, the most recent chapter as of this writing, has been read over 658,000 times. For comparison, the best-selling American Marvel comic of 2020, Wolverine No. 1, shipped an estimated 196,000 copies to comic shops in North America, less than a third of Deadpool Samurai's readership. The last Marvel comic to ship over 1 million copies in North America was Star Wars No. 1 in 2015, which was the best-selling direct market release in two decades. So that's pretty interesting. They, act, you know, I don't know. If, I don't think it costs money to read Shonen Jump. Plus, from what I understand, that's a internet version. Like it's only you know on the internet. That's the only way you can read Shonen Jump Plus. Whereas the regular Shonen Jump, I believe, is still available on newsstands and and you know like. It's kind of like, I don't know what you call them, but those things you put money in them, you can get newspapers out of them. They don't really exist that much anymore. But over in Japan, this stuff is still prevalent. You buy it and you take it on the subway because they take a lot of mass transport any, over in Japan. So that's kind of one of the reasons that they're so popular. It makes me wonder if you could do the same with that stuff over here, but I, I don't know. Cities are kind of getting abandoned now. You know, you can just work at home now. So, I don't know. I thought this was really interesting. You know, comics very much alive over in Japan, quite dead over here. And I don't know how you transfer that to over here. They don't, maybe they'll release this over here eventually. And I'm thinking they will release some kind of compilation book over here and charge for it. I think that that's only a matter of time till you see that. But it is really interesting to me. You know, that there's a huge market and Marvel can't tap it. This is them trying to tap it, but let's be real. If they were to take the shit we have over here and send it over there, nobody's going to read it. <laughs> Nobody, they would laugh at it and, and it would probably kill what little momentum they have going with these characters over there. And the interesting thing here is in Japan, these properties over there, like, you know, when you have an anime... That all that always comes from manga, right? So even like I know one everybody will know is Dragon Ball. That started as a comic, and then it went into an anime, and it actually became you know it becomes more popular. the The crowd actually transfers back and forth. You, people will watch an anime if they didn't watch if they didn't read the manga, they might actually go read that after watching it. It actually they complement each other. So the funny thing is with this Deadpool manga being so popular over there it would actually translate to merchandise sales. And I bet if there's a movie, if they do make Deadpool 3, if this is still a popular book, it would probably help the movie get more views and make more money over there because of the success of this. Whereas over here, you wouldn't get that. You know, if you if they have a successful Deadpool movie, that doesn't mean that the Deadpool, in fact, I would say it won't raise Deadpool comic book sales at all. So interesting stuff. Uh, it'd be something to watch and see. Uh, and, and to be honest, I got to tell you, it's embarrassing that the Japanese version of this book is doing better than the American version. Like that should be something. They should be embarrassed by that, that the, the American comics are so bad and that nobody reads them. But apparently Disney's okay with them wasting money. I really thought they were going to get the chopping block this year, but it appears that Disney's okay just slinging money at nothing with this, even when they're still losing money and their profit margins are down 22%. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.